Hey guys, welcome to episode five of The Business Scientist. And what I'm gonna be talking about today is why I never talk about models or algorithms to business people. All right, this is a classic mis mistake that all data scientists make. So we're gonna cover that in this tutorial. All right, so the fastest way to lose interest in your analysis is to actually talk about the analysis. And I know you want to do this. You want to dive into it. You want to talk about the nuts and bolts, all the work you put into it, all the cool things you did in your code. Don't do that because if you're talking with a business person, what's going to happen is their eyes are going to roll back in their head and they're going to fall asleep uh, or worse yet, you're just going to hear silence. And I've had this happen to me before. I've had it happen to me many, many times early when I was in my consulting career, uh, I had this happen. So what you don't wanna do is don't do these things, all right? Don't talk about the process. Don't talk about your models. Don't talk about accuracy metrics, but rather this is what you want to do. Seriously, just do this and it's gonna help you completely, all right? Pick one tangible result, only one thing. Pick one customer that you can save with your analysis. If it's a customer churn analysis, pick one big savings event. You know, if you do this to your business, we project that you will save $5 million. They're gonna tune into that. They're gonna love it if you're talking about their customers. They're gonna love it if you're talking about the business result, meaning saving money or growing revenue. And just talk about that. When you do that, this will happen. So if the business person is interested in your result, then they will ask more questions. Now, I do have a secret tactic that can help you through this process. Um, I've talked about this before. It's this thing called the business science problem framework. So this comes from my book, everything you should already know about data science. And I'm gonna zoom in on it real quick. So this is the business science problem framework. And what it does is it gives you kind of a process. So uh that that starts with the business and then it ends with the result and what you want to do is when you're talking to your business people and when they start to ask you more questions don't just dive into the algorithms and everything what you want to do is you show them the process this is what it looks like from start to finish when i do my data science project here's where you fit in here's the where we talk about reporting the results uh here's where i encode my algorithms in each step of the way this is where we get people involved and this is where we identify costs of the project and so on. So when you do that, you will engage them. You're going to give them the results. And then when you talk about the process, you just bust this thing out and it totally helps you. So um, that comes again from page, I think that's on page yeah, 39 on, in my book. For those that want to learn a little bit more, um, definitely take a look at my ebook. I'll leave a link in the video notes uh so you can check that out um you can get my book everything you should already know about data science um and if you have any questions or comments please let me know all right see you later